Depending on who you talk to, quantum computers could either break the internet or allow us to compute our way out of a climate crisis. To perform tasks like harnessing the power of molecules during photosynthesis, scientists aren't able to use standard computers. They need to use quantum computers in order to measure and observe quantum systems at the molecular level and to solve the conditional probability of events. In essence, quantum computers have the power to solve some of the most challenging issues in the world by performing the computational work of billions of years in a single weekend. Furthermore, it should come as no surprise that some of the biggest tech companies in the world, including IBM, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, are investing substantially in it in an effort to secure a place in the quantum future. But what is quantum computing? With the help of the rapidly developing field of quantum computing, we can now solve issues that are too complex for conventional computers. Quantum computing could change the world. It could transform medicine, break encryption, and revolutionize communications and artificial intelligence. The traditional computers that have been in use for more than half a century are considerably different from these devices. An ordinary computer chip uses bits. These are like tiny switches that can either be in off position, represented by a zero, or in the on position, represented by a one. Every app you use, website you visit, and photograph you take is ultimately made up of millions of these bits in some combination of ones and zeros. This works great in most things, but it doesn't reflect the way the universe actually works. Things aren't only off and on in nature, they are uncertain, and even the most advanced supercomputers struggle to handle uncertainty. That's because over the last century, physicists have discovered when you go down to a really small scale, weird things start to happen. They've developed a whole new field of science to try and explain them. It's called quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the foundation of physics, which underlies chemistry, which is the foundation of biology. Therefore, scientists need a more advanced method of doing computations that can handle uncertainty if they're going to accurately model any of these things. Operations in quantum computing produce what is known as a qubit by using an object's quantum state. These states are the undefined properties of an object before they've been detected, such as the spin of an electron or the polarization of a photon. How quantum computers work and features of quantum computing. Quantum computing is based on the concepts of superposition and entanglement from quantum physics. This enables quantum computers to handle operations at speeds exponentially faster than those of traditional computers while using a great deal less energy. A quantum processor is a wafer not much bigger than the one found in a laptop. The ideal temperature of quantum processors is one hundredth of a degree above absolute zero. In order to create superconductors, you require supercooled superfluids. A quantum hardware system is roughly the size of a car and is primarily made up of cooling systems to maintain the superconducting processor at its extremely low operational temperature. Superposition. A qubit itself isn't very useful. However, it is capable of an important trick, putting the quantum data it contains into a state of superposition that combines all conceivable qubit configurations. Groups of qubits in superposition can create complex multidimensional computational spaces in which complex problems can be represented in new ways. Entanglement. Quantum computing power depends on entanglement. This is a property of quantum mechanics that correlates the actions of two different objects. When two qubits are intertwined, modifications to one directly affect the other. These connections are used by quantum algorithms to solve challenging issues. Decoherence. When the quantum behavior of qubits decay, decoherence takes place. Vibrations or changes in temperature can abruptly disrupt the quantum state. Qubits may lose their superposition as a result, which could lead to computation errors. Qubits must be shielded from this interference using techniques like supercooled refrigerators, insulation, and vacuum chambers. Why do we need quantum computers? But again, why do we necessarily need such hyperpowerful machines when we already have supercomputers? Quantum computers aren't just about doing things faster or more efficiently. They'll enable us to take on challenges we've never even dared to imagine, things that simply cannot be done even with the best supercomputer. Right now, supercomputers can only analyze the most basic molecules. However, quantum computers work by employing the same quantum principles as the molecules they're attempting to simulate. They should have no problem handling even the most complicated reactions. Quantum computers have the capacity to significantly speed up the advancement of artificial intelligence and are already being utilized by Google to enhance the software for autonomous vehicles. This could result in more efficient products, from improved solar panels to new battery materials for electric cars to better and cheaper medicine. 
According to scientists, even a cure for Alzheimer's disease may be found with the help of quantum simulations. Anywhere there is a large, complex, uncertain system that needs to be simulated, quantum computers will be useful. That could be anything from predicting the financial markets, to improving weather forecasts, to modeling the behavior of individual electrons using quantum computing to understand quantum physics. Quantum computer versus supercomputer. Quantum computers are much faster and more powerful than supercomputers. They are perfect for solving complicated problems that need for the speedy processing of enormous amounts of data since they can handle several computations at once. Supercomputers are limited to working through one task at a time, but extend to a wider range of tasks. However, as of 2023, it's safe to say that for doing anything commercially useful, the Frontier supercomputer is far superior. Undesirable side effects. A major concern is that quantum computers in the future might have such strong computational capabilities that they could defeat the encryption protocols that are essential to the security of the internet. Organizations or state actors should already be changing their cryptography to quantum safe or quantum computer resistant methods. It is important to note that the purpose of quantum computers is not to break cryptography. That is solely a side effect. In conclusion, quantum computing has the potential to change the world, but its future is currently unknown. Not everybody is convinced that quantum computers are worth the effort. Some mathematicians think that quantum computing will never be possible because of impractically great obstacles. Time will tell who is right. If you enjoyed this video and want to join our journey on learning about the who, what, when, where, why, and how of the human experience, please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the Reverie Media YouTube channel. You can also connect with us on Twitter at The Reverie Media. We hope to see you there.